Hello and welcome to this session on Tableau. In today's session, we are going to take example of the Netflix database which we have and we will prepare certain reports in order to identify what kind of reports we can generate from such a data set. So currently on my screen, what you can see is the Tableau, the Netflix data sheets, the data sources, where you have the Netflix shows, movies, their associated duration, uh, what kind of uh, shows or movies are there, their release year, uh, the associated rating, description and a key which is the show ID. Now this is the unique identifier for each show uh, in this Netflix title sheet and with this show ID all other sheets are related like you know who are the directors of the show in which country the show was released, what is the cast of each show, all that information is in this sheet and to which particular category, basically the listed in category is being uh, listed in this particular sheet. So what we are going to do is first, we are going to import this sheet into Tableau. Okay, and then create relationship between them using the Tableau relationship canvas. So first our the primary transaction table, the sheet in which all the information related to movies is there or shows is there is in Netflix titles. And then we will drag sheet like Netflix cast titles cast. Now Tableau has automatically identified the relationship between uh, the show ID of titles and show ID, ID of titles cast and it has made a join. So if you double click this, you can see this relationship, cardinality and the related fields. Similarly, I'll drag relation titles category, countries and directors. Now, by virtue of this, all the sheets have now been joined with Netflix titles and with this relationship ready, we can start preparing our reports. Now let's create a basic report where we can just glance the data like you know whatever we were seeing in the Excel, how it looks in Tableau. So you have all the types of movies, then for example, I drag the release here. Now first, I do not want to uh, consider it as a dimension. So I'll just release here, you know, per category, per type, uh, there is a release here. And then I'll drop the listed in. So now these are the categories, so per year, the, de the details of the categories, right? And then you can drag the title and the associated rating. So this is just a view of your data. We can name it as shows listing report. Now let's try to create some report for some uh, measures, some numbers, etc. So now let's check in which country how many movies or titles were released, you know, what is the count. So first, let's drag the country. So as soon as we drag the country uh, field, it has identified that it has the geographical names and identified the latitude and longitude details. So Tableau internally does that automatically and it has identified the spots across the globe of the relevant country. Now let's drag the listed in on the color section. Now what it is doing is it is showing in which country what different kind of uh, category wise movies are or shows are being released. Like in Sri Lanka documentaries have been released in India action and adventure 
United States action and adventure like this. Now let's put a count of the titles, right? So if you see 247 action and adventure movies or shows have been released in United States. Okay, so this is one inference by this particular report you can identify. So let's save this report as listed in by country. Okay, now let's create another report. We will call it as the per year statistical report. In this, first I'll put the release years in the column. Now, count of Netflix titles. So this is the count of Netflix titles per year. So 2017, 2016, 14. And then count of Netflix titles in the countries. This is the second bar chart, okay? Now, what I'll do is I'll combine it into one. So one report, we are moving in the bar, creating the bar and one in the line. And now I just have to, so we will click on the count of Netflix titles by country, right click, mark it dual axis. So now as soon as you click this, both the uh, charts have been combined and right click over here and say synchronize axis. Okay, Okay. so now if you can see, see right, in 2017, you had uh, 2,303 Netflix releases across all categories and 1,159 titles, right, 1,063 titles in 2017. So this is a descending representation of the count of titles released per year across category and across titles. So let's call this as per year stats. Now let's create another report, number of shows per title, okay, so or, or sorry per rating, so we will drag the rating column and we will count of titles and unique count of titles and unique count of show IDs.
okay one is bar and one is line okay so this is a report which shows rating wise titles and the show ids So in the tooltip, you can see the distinct count of titles and show ID per rating. Okay, so let's call it shows per rating. Now let's create another sheet, call it as shows by cast. So in this what we are going to do is first drag the cast column on the rows section you have name all of all the cast and then we drag the show id on the column section and put a count d and sort it okay uh, you can remove the null cast and this is your sorted order and on the label section, you can say show mark labels and you will see the count that Anupam Kher has done the maximum, then Anu Shah Rukh Khan, Om Puri, Nasruddin Shah. So this is the details on the sorted order that who has done how many shows. Okay. Then next is shows by director similar to shows by cast. Drag director into rows or differently if you want to prepare into columns and then count of show id okay sort it and you can actually filter out the null director value and this is your count put the label so you can see Jan's sweater has the maximum shows okay then create another report shows by category now similarly drag the listed in in the rows and show ID count remove the null category and sort labels show mark labels so international movies are the highest category dramas the next comedy international tv shows this way you have your category now let's create a dashboard in which we want to bring combine all these reports and take a common view so first Let's drag listed in by country, then shows by director. Also, please let's set the size as automatic. Then let's drag shows by category and shows by cast. Now these four reports are on a single dashboard. We will link them to each other. So go to worksheet actions, add action filter select dashboard one only select shows by category here and in target dashboard one except shows by category keep everything else and in the source sheet just select click select click ok ok now whatever category you will select over here that related category data will automatically be 
shown in other reports like see international movies across the globe across the countries directors of only international movies who has done the maximum johnny to and uh, shows by cast right that who has done the maximum international movies or dramas or comedies see parish ravel has the maximum number of comedies and then if you see the comedy movies uh, you know these are the count of comedy movies released across the countries and the who is the director another a very interesting report which you can prepare is that for example you want to check in which country maximum duration of uh your rep uh maximum duration of movies have been released so first let's create uh can for to measure and remove this okay so if you see maximum duration of the movies or the entire netflix content is maximum in united states then in india these many minutes next is united kingdom and you can also change the colors whatever you feel is as per your standards or as per the convention you can change the color combination so there are multiple ways you can generate reports and uh, hope you have understood how you can leverage such a data to create your reports hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here